why don't you give us a quick elevator pitch for Ferrum Health? Uh, please tell us about the product, its position in the market, and how you came to think of that as a uh, important problem to solve. Great question, David. So we're a team of uh, experienced health, digital health operators, and we started Ferrum because we saw that there was this massive unmet need in the market. The fact that medical errors remain the third leading cause of death in the world, and the fact that, candidly, a lot of the technology breakthroughs that we've had over the past decade have really, um, really should be deployed to address this this uh, scourge. So Ferrum Health builds AI solutions to help hospitals identify and address medical errors before they affect patient care. We do this across the population level um, and and are and are able to find hundreds and hundreds of patients for every hospital that we work with um, whose care we're able to improve. We're deployed in six countries across three continents, um, including here in our very own backyard, uh, Sutter Health, uh, across their entire enterprise. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that background that you folks bring, you and your partner Ben, your other key colleagues, yeah, there's there's definitely a, a a joke in healthcare. I think it was uh, that um, you know the issue with healthcare isn't that it doesn't, there there aren't enough problems to solve. It's uh, healthcare is one of those areas that has essentially an unlimited number of challenges that you can tackle. Uh, and and honestly, uh, the reason why we are still at it um, is because every single one of us, and actually you know if if you talk, you talk to your colleagues, pretty much everybody has been affected by a medical error. They have been, or someone they've known have, has been. Um, over a third of cancer patients and lung cancer or breast cancer uh, actually have their diagnosis missed um, before they're actually diagnosed. Um, uh, nearly everybody um, has been touched by this issue. And for us, we realize that if the technology exists to actually effectively identify these patients and these potential challenges, um, it, it, it's almost a moral obligation for us to try to deploy it out there. Um, the, the other reason I would bring up is the fact that there are preciously few technologies or use cases or problems in healthcare where all the incentives are aligned, where doing what's right for the patient is also what's right for the hospital, is also what's right for the payer. Um, and I think medical errors are actually one of the very, very few areas of healthcare where you truly are able to do good while doing well. You truly are able to deliver this incredible return on life um, while still actually, you know, making money for the health system, reducing costs for the kind of uh, insurers, and ultimately, obviously, you know, no, no, no patient wants to have a cancer missed or another finding a critical diagnosis missed. Ultimately, you know, doing what's best for for our patients too.